I would like to mention here that some or full content of this session may help you to be a cyber aware, being a cyber savvy, and help you to understand the security concepts while preparing for any cyber security exams like CISM, CISA, CISSP, etc. CISM, you can find this in domain four, which is information security and threat management, and CISSP, you can find under security operations. So I'm moving to creating an incident response team first. One of the most important tasks that you will undertake in your incident response program is building and staffing your incident response team. This team will likely need to be available on a 24 by 7 basis and you should primarily back up personnel assigned to cover their vacations as well as extending period of operations. Incident handling is wonderful professional development opportunity and help team member keep their technical skill sharp. Some of, some of this group that should be represented in your incident response team include management, information security personnel, technical subject matter expert such as database administrator, developer, system engineers, and virtualization expert, legal counsel, public affairs, and marketing staff, human resource team member, and your organizations physical security team. Including the right team member is critical to building the relationships that you will need during an incident. You won't necessarily need to activate all team members for any given incident, but each of these groups should have representative trained and ready to participate before an incident strike. As you build out your incident response team, you may find that your organization lack some of the capability to handle security incident. For example, this one. For example, you might discover that you don't have forensic capabilities within your team to conduct investigation. In support of incident response effort, in those cases, you may wish to consider retaining an external incident response provider to assist. Friends, here I would like to mention that considering the third party or third party vendor for any such incident is maybe one of the good decisions uh, considering the uh, uh, financial aspect. And another important tip is you do not want to try and locate and negotiate a contract with a provider in the middle of the incident. That's not the right time to do these kind of negotiations when incident is already going through. Plan in advance and get the paperwork in place to use a provider immediately when you discover a problem. Your incident response team will be a crucial aspect as you work to address the impact of security incident. Be sure you take the time now to design and train your team so that they are ready to respond in the event of actual cybersecurity incident. <laughs> 